The Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. And you develop good qualities in mind, not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but also as you go through the day. And the more the mind is centered, the more it's in a position of strength where it can do that. So when it's time to sit and meditate, give your attention totally to the meditation. This is your center. This is your home. It's from here that you're going to be operating. So make this a comfortable place to stay. It's comfortable both in terms of the breath. Notice how different ways of breathing feel right now, and if you find something that is especially captivating, stay with that. And also comfortable in terms of the thoughts that go through the mind. The way you talk to yourself, be encouraging. Lift the mind up. Realize that this is a really good thing you're doing here. This happened, the Buddha would give his talks on Dhamma. He, he, there were four verbs they would use to describe what he did. One was to instruct, in other words, to give information. And the other three were encouragement, to rouse, encourage, to urge. And so learn how to rouse your mind, encourage it, urge it, in whatever way is appropriate, whatever way gets the best results. There's sometimes you have to be gentle with it, consoling, comforting. Other times you have to be a little bit harsher. Lay down the law. Learn how to read your mind. See what it responds to best. And then once you've done all the work of developing the center right here as you're sitting and meditating, don't throw it away when you get up. There's an image in the canon of people who have their meditation on their lap. It's with them when they sit, but when they get up, it falls off the lap and just stays there on the ground. So don't let your meditation be like that. Carry it around. It's something precious. Think of the image in the canon of the man with a bowl of oil on his head. He's walking along. He doesn't want to spill a drop. Now you can think about that image in different ways. In the canon, they have the image of the man following behind him with a sword. If the first man drops even a drop of oil, he's going to get his head cut off. But then you can think of a John Lee's image. He's got something really good there in the bowl. You want to protect it. Instead of thinking of oil, you might think of good food. You want to make sure the flies don't land on the food. In other words, as soon as any of the hindrances come up, you shoo them away. That way you've got this position of strength that you can carry with you as you go through the day and develop good qualities as you're talking with other people, as you're engaged in different activities. You're coming from a position of strength. So once you've created this position, don't just throw it away. Carry it around as your most valuable possession, and it will reward you. So give it the care and attention that it deserves.